Hello. While you've been away, there have been a number of changes made to our site to ensure that everybody is safe and able to continue with their work. When Year 10 students first enter the site, they will enter through the Burntwood Lane gate. If you're dropping off your daughter or son, this should happen at least 200 metres away from the school site. A member of staff will greet students at the gate and show them where to line up. Staff will be on hand to ensure that they are kept at least two metres apart. The same applies for Year 12 students who must enter through the St George's Grove gate. Students will line up here. The lines are a minimum of two metres apart and students will each wait behind these lines to ensure they are socially distancing. A member of staff will make sure that students understand how to do this. Year 12 students will also line up here under the covered walkway. Before lessons start, students will be escorted in pairs into building three. Before entering the classroom, they will wash their hands. Only two students will be able to enter the toilets at any one time. Staff will be ensuring that they wash their hands properly using soap and water. Paper towels and bins have been provided to ensure that hygiene is maintained. A member of staff will then escort the students to their classroom where their teacher will be waiting. Each classroom has been arranged to ensure that students and staff maintain a two metres distance from one another. Each student will sit in a designated seat and will remain in that seat during their time learning on site. If a student needs a toilet, they will be escorted by a duty member of staff who will ensure that they do so safely while maintaining hygiene. When it is time for students to have their lunch break, they will be called in small groups to the dining hall. Here they will line up two metres apart and wait to be escorted into the lunch hall. Lunch breaks have been staggered to ensure that only small numbers of students are out of the classroom at any one time. Students will again be able to use the bathroom and ensure that they wash their hands. Students will then either join the queue for lunch or, if they have a packed lunch, sit at a table. When the weather is fair, students will sit outside. Tables are spaced two metres apart and seats are clearly marked. Tables and chairs will be thoroughly cleaned before and after sittings. If the weather is not suitable for sitting outside, there are seats prepared in the restaurant that are clearly marked and two metres apart. Again, tables and chairs are always cleaned between sittings. Students can relax with friends during break time. Staff are on duty to ensure that they remain socially distanced. The circles on the grass act as guides and reminders to students. The trim trail is out of bounds during this period. When lunch is over, students will be asked to line up again. When ready, they will be escorted back into the building and will wash their hands before returning to the classroom. Although students won't be able to borrow books, the library is being used as a space to have one-to-one -one meetings with students. These are designed to check on progress, identify gaps in study to help us support their learning, plan for the summer term and offer any emotional support during this difficult time. The end of the school day has also been staggered to ensure that not all students leave school together. Students will be dismissed in pairs and will be escorted to the toilets to wash their hands before being taken to the school gates by a member of staff. Staff will be outside school to ensure that students maintain social distancing. Again, if you are collecting your daughter or son, please do not park near the school, but arrange to meet them at least 200 metres away. Year 10 students will leave from the Burntwood Lane exit and Year 12 students from the St George's Grove exit. We hope this short film has helped you understand how our school day will look over the next few weeks. If you do have any further questions, please email info at burntwoodschool.com. Thank you very much.